You're listening to Brandon Sports Talk, interviewing professional athletes and Paralympians and Olympians. And now for your professional athlete interview and your host, Brandon P. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Paris Montescore European football player, Mana, Mana Zasai. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to play professional football? I mean, I was in Africa when I was young. When I was 10 years old, my mom sent me to Africa to stay over there like for five years. So when I came back to um, to Paris, I went straight to like my friend's house, and he bring me to first uh, Flash La Corner, and I just fell in love in, in that game, and I know like that was like what I want to do for the rest of my life. What was your experience like getting to compete for the French junior national team? The French, it was cool to represent the French first of all, and you know first it was like more. Um, play with my friend, represent friends, and you know we was playing on other countries, so it was pretty cool. So to represent the French national team, know you one of the best player in all the the French uh, championship. That was pretty cool. So it was cool to represent France. How is that experience like getting to go to the World Cup and getting to represent the country of French? First of all, it was for me. Um, um, the thing that I can like show what I can do to the world, compete against some other country to see where my level was. So it was pretty fun too. And you know, we traveled to the state. That was my first time being there. It was pretty cool. So yeah, we I like it. What was that experience like getting to compete in the European Bowl and getting to compete for Berlin? Berlin, it was cool because Berlin was my first team in Germany. I start playing football. I start to play in GFL for Coach Kuchi, who saw me play for the national team. So the national team, so the national team helped me to 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 get in Germany, and that was my first experience to play one of on 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 the champion on the championship, the best championship in Europe. So. While while in Berlin, what was that like getting to compete for the championship and the German Super Bowl? It was cool. It was cool. It was my first time to play in the final in Germany. Uh, you know, it's way different than what we do in, in France. Way more people. So that was pretty cool. And I was young. So that was cool. That was cool to play. After that time, what was that like going to New York Lions and getting to compete for them? So when I was playing for Berlin um, Adler, sorry, um, I play against Braunschweig. We beat them in Euro Bowl. But for me, my goal was like at that time to play there because they look so good from the outside. That was the best team in Europe. I know like all the best players was over there. They have some good coaching staff and the program was professional. So I knew if I want to go like to the next level, I will have to play over there. So that was pretty pretty fun to to play that one. Of course, after signing with the New York Lions, what was that like again to compete for the German Bowl and the European Bowl? I mean, the European Bowl was cool first because that was my second time to to compete to 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 have a win. And for the German Bowl, it was it was like beautiful. We played in Berlin, I remember. So I don't know, like I was just so happy to be there. And to, to, to be able to compete with a great team, good good coaching staff. At that time, that was my second year in GFL. So I was more mature on the field. I was more technical. I got more experience. So yeah, that was that was pretty fun. Of course, after the New York team, what was that transition like going to Black Panthers and getting to play for the Black Panthers? So what happened is after my year in um, New York Alliance, I have the opportunity to do some camp in United States. 
So, um, but at the last game of the season, I turned my biceps. So uh, I could not do the camp. And so I come back to Paris, I do my rehab. Everything was do going well. But at that time, the um, camp was already done. And um, the New York Alliance already like recruit all the all the players. So I only my only chance to play football was to play in France. So I signed with uh, the Black Panthers. That was cool. I didn't have that much game because I turned my ACL after three games. So it was it was a why it was like a good experience because that was the first time that I came back from. I came back in France since uh, the time I, I left. So, yeah. Of course, after that, what was that transition like balancing coming back from injury and getting to compete again? I mean, mentally, it's kind of hard because, of course, the rehab was pretty good. I do like one year of rehab, but it's more like mental. Mental, the Mentally, was kind of hard because, you know, when you play lineman, I was playing with like a lot of weight. So I put a lot of pressure on my knee and I was kind of scared to turn my ACL again. But it was just like two or th- after two or three games, everything went, went, um, went like normal and it was pretty, pretty okay. What was that feeling like for you getting to come to Paris and getting to sign for Paris? It was like, it's like the first time I played for the national team. I remember uh, after the first championship, I, I played in the ELF. Um, Marco Suma and Frenzy, the general manager and the president of Paris Musketer, told me that they want to do a big project in Paris. And at that time, I already knew like I will play for 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 Paris Musketer because I formed Paris, I born in Paris, I start playing in Paris. So that was just normal to come back in Paris and, and play for my city. Of course, as you said, born from Paris and from Paris, what has that been like, obviously, representing your city of Paris in the NFL, in professional football? I mean, it's cool because back in the day, the only goal that we have was to play in the NFL because GFL was, like, of course, better than what we was doing, but the, the goal was to play in the NFL. Now the good thing is, the kid that play in in Paris or in Spain or in Germany, they, they they goals is to play in ELF. Of course, they want to go to NFL, but at the end of the day, they still have a chance to play in 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 a good um, champion, championship and to compete against the best team in Europe. So when I have the opportunity to come back in Paris, that was to show to all the the young guys and and um, the the future player that. We can do a good thing in Paris. You don't have to travel. You don't have to to um, to go to another country. You can play in your in your country, play in your city, and that was the best thing for me, like to, to do. Because since I'm in Paris, Musketeer, it's some sometimes it's just some simple thing. Like when it was in locker room, when I was in Germany, they was put some German music. Now I'm in Paris, they put some French music. I speak French every time because of course we have some import like from the state or Germany. But the team is is a French team, so we still have the same code. I play against with some player that I start football with, so for me it was not it was not a doubt that I will come back to Paris and I will play in my city. For you, what was that feeling like getting to put on that jersey for the first time and representing the city of Paris? Uh, the first game we played, I remember it was against Cologne, so we traveled to Germany and. Just to see like the name of Paris in my chest was like, I mean, I could be more proud of me to 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 be able to represent Paris and a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. I never felt that way because when you play for your city, it's not like when you're an import in Germany. Of course, when I was in Germany, I was playing hard. Don't get me wrong. For every team I play, I always do everything I can to win. But when you play for Paris, you feel like you have to represent your city. You feel like you have to represent your family, your all the guys who 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 are not on the team. So to to be able to represent them, I mean, I felt a lot of pressure. Especially everybody was waiting on us because we got big signing, and in Europe, everybody knew in France we got a lot of talent. So 
I have a lot of pressure for the first game, and but at the end of the day, we win the game, so everything went on right and, and good. What is that feeling like getting to live out your professional football dream of being a professional football player? I mean, getting paid for do what you love, man. I mean, what you want, what you what you can ask more for. I mean, I I, I get paid for playing football. That's crazy for me. Uh, even in Germany, if when back in the day when I was in Paris, I was paying to play football. Because when the year starts, you pay your license. You might pay 200 euros, 150. Uh, sometimes it's hard to pay because, I mean, my parents was helping me, but at that time I was not working, I was at school. But we just loved that game. That's what we was doing. And now I get paid to do it. So so that, 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 that that's perfect for me. How has it been, like, obviously, as you said, where when you first got started, you had to pay to play football professionally and now you get paid to play football how's that been like for you i mean good like the thing is the crazy thing is when i was paying to play that was like a patient like so i was just like that was for the love of the game when you get paid to do it it's more like a work i mean that's my job so it's, 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 it's not the same. You still play football, of course, but it's not the same mental. Like when I was paying to do it, just imagine it. You play, you, you pay to, to play football, you train on rain for free. And so it's just because you will really love that game. When you get paid to, to do it, I mean, of course you're happy because you get paid, so it's cool. But it's more like a job. So you have to be way more serious. You have to be perfect on everything of course you have some pressure because you get paid so you have uh, to, to to show out every game but I mean get paid to do what you love for me is is the best thing ever what are some similarities and differences between the European size of football versus the NFL versus CFL I think is is a ELF is is a new league so of course you're gonna take time before build everything to make every team like compete uh, competitive so it's gonna take time nfl and cfl is a high high level so the best player in the world playing nfl so you have to be honest so and all the guy who play in elf want to end in nfl that's normal so it's gonna take time it's gonna take a lot of coaching but the good thing is in europe now Everybody's try to to coach. We have some great coach in Europe, so they can like coach the the youngs to 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 play better. But of course, NFL and CFL are this is a high level. You know, this is I mean, we can compete with that. Of course, for my listeners that don't know, how do you compete in the European football? So every country have a team. We got team in Spain. We got. Uh, team in Paris, you got Germany and you got Austria. So Milan and um, Pologne. So every country have uh, one or two team. Germany have way more team because of course you got a lot of good teams over there. And um, they make some groups uh, where you, the, they try to make some groups to, 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 to help the team to not travel a lot. So let's say Paris, we're going to play against some team who are on the north or south of Germany because they're closer to us. And um, so you got three groups. It's like in NFL, you got uh, three groups and then everybody competes. The first team in, the, in every group go to straight to playoff. The second the second team compete, compete to, to join them and then uh, you play the final. Of course, who are some of the teams that you compete against in your conference? I mean, last year we competed against Frankfurt. We competed against uh, Dusseldorf and Fire. We competed against uh, Cologne. Um, uh, uh, sorry, Barcelona. And we competed against Barcelona. What is that like getting to compete against some of those teams like the Sea Devils and Surge? Um, the Surge... I mean, it's, for me, it's more, it's easier because, of course, 
I play 10 years in Germany, so I'm used to play against this team. I know a lot of players over there. Some of the players are my friends, so I know them like very well. Um, so nothing changed for me, really, because I always play in Germany. The only thing that changed is more for the young guys who never travel from Paris, who never play on that that level. But for me, nothing changed because I'm used to play. I'm used to compete against those teams. What are some of your favorite memories and moments getting to represent the Paris team? I think it was the first game. The first game, the first game of the season and the first game at home. I mean, when I first time I played at home, it was at the Stade Jean Bois. The stadium was packed, you know, for the first time of the history of uh, American football in France. We have a professional team who go, who represent Irish, but not just Paris, but the French football. I mean, that was uh, the best moment of, of the year. What is that home game atmosphere like in Paris? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. I love my fans, man. They 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 are great. They do every they every game. Every, even if when the season was hard for us, they always stay there with us. And people need to understand that's new in in France. That's like new. So people, of course, used to go to to game, but most of the time it's free uh, or the tickets are pretty low because the price of the tickets are pretty low because of the level of the competition. But in Paris Mousquetaire, the tickets are normal, of course, and I call everybody to come uh, watch us next season. But every game, every game, even when it was hard, they was there to support us. And especially, that was the first time I was, my family was able to come watch me. You know, you got some of my family who traveled to, to, to Germany, but my mom never watched me, so she she was able to watch me last year. So I love my fans. I love my fans. I love to play in front of my family. So, what is that like getting to play alongside some of your teammates, like quarterback Zach Edwards? It was pretty cool. I played against Zach uh, the first year of um, the ELF. Uh, we played together. We play each. We play each um, against each other. Um, Two times, uh, and the funny, the funny thing is, me and him have uh, a little shovel on the field, so that was pretty good to play against, uh, to play with him in Paris. He's a good player. Um, he he pretty cool, so that was that was pretty fun to play with him. Who are some of your most influential people in your career that have shaped you into the football player you are today? <sighs> I can't say it's one guy, but I got like three guys that helped me to to be who I am today. First of all, I'm gonna say um, when I started playing football for Lacunev, we used to have a, a D-line guy who was a senior. His name was Masiga. He wore a number 55. That, that that's why I wear a number 55. Um, you got my friend Dooms, the guy who bring me to to uh, Lacunev. He played online, so he helped me a lot for for the technique side because so we 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 used to work a lot each other um, to 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 work on our technique. So yeah, I'm gonna say those two guys like really helped me to be who I am today. Who is somebody either in the NFL, CFL, or in the XFL that you look up to and implement your game after? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I might say some crazy stuff, but um, I don't watch NFL. I'm, I might watch some big games sometime, uh, but I don't I don't watch that much NFL. Um, I'm gonna like may, maybe watch how they work technically. Um, to be honest, my, 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 the player who I like to watch is Aaron Rodgers. He play quarterback, nothing to do with uh, what I do, but I just like to watch them how they play technically, but I don't have one player who who make me love uh, love that game. What is that like getting to meet your fans and having them ask for your autographs and photos with you? It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, when you when you're a young guy, you always want to sign autographs. That, that's the, the superstar stuff. And uh, when you when you able to do that, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What? 
as a player, what is it like getting to see your fans get to represent you and wear your jersey and getting to wear the Paris jersey? Like I said, that's fun. That's that's pretty fun. Uh, you 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 have you have to understand. Um, we came from La Corne. La Corne, we didn't have that much fans. We have more family who can watch us play. So when you see your number or your name behind the back of uh, somebody that you don't know, or when I some 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 young guy send me some message on on Instagram or Facebook to ask me for for some autograph, for some glove, for some jersey. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Of course, throughout your playing career, what have been some of your favorite memories and moments? Oh, uh, the first moments. Uh, it might be the first time I won a championship with Paris, uh, with uh, Lacuna. The first time I won uh, the Euro with Berlin uh, Adler. Um, and I'm gonna say it's the first time I won a championship uh, with uh, the Friend for Galaxy. What was that experience like getting to win those championships and getting to hoist up the trophies? Uh, the good thing is when you win the one wing, you always want to win another wing because, I mean, it's so fun to play a championship game. It's so fun. I mean, you, I can compare that to nothing less. Like when I play in the season, for me, that's the hardest time ever. But when I'm in playoff, that's when I love playing football. That's when everybody exciting, everybody's watching you. Um, the championship game, all the team are watching you on the TV. It's you against the other team, and man, that's that's just fun to 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 do it. What are some of your future plans for the Paris team moving forward? Um, I don't know if you see it, but I, this year I say that it's going to be my last year playing football. So this year is going to be my last season with the Paris Musketer. So my goal is to win, definitely. Um, last year, if you were asking me that last year, I would say is to to help the young guys to to be ready to face what we're going to do. Because I know like a lot of guys on our team never play against some German team or some Austrian team. So we was more on uh, I was more like a big brother to 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 help everybody um, to be good on the field or outside the field. But this year is definitely to win. It's definitely to win. Of course, with you going through that retirement process, what does that look like so far for you? And what has that feel like? putting on those last few jerseys? I mean, the good thing is when I'm done playing football, I still want to like work on the football. So of course I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stop playing football, but I'm still going to like work with some players. I want to do um, something big in Africa too. So that's not, um, I'm not worried about that. But yeah, this year I think I'm going to enjoy every game I'm going to be. I'm going to f- play like I never play. I'm going to do my best. I already started my, my preseason. So, yeah, I want I want to, like, be happy on... on, on uh, I want to, like, yeah, enjoy every game, every game, enjoy every game. Because, like you say, it's going to be uh, the last season. So, yeah, I think it, I need to, it need to be fun for me. I need the... I don't need the... I don't want to stop playing football and be like, oh, I should do that, I should do that. So this year, I want to do everything I can to to be good, to have fun, and to win a championship. What advice would you give those people in college that are looking to play collegiate football and then go on to playing professionally? Uh, one thing I'm going to say is trust, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Everything you do, do do full speed. Um, don't, don't be scared to travel. Don't be scared to ask. Don't be scared to... to um, to do anything that can that that can help you to 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 go there and work 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 don't stop working because in in like you in 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 college football or in NFL everybody's working everybody's working every time so yeah I'm gonna say two things first of all is gonna be work don't stop working and the second thing is trust yourself. What advice would you have those future professional athletes out there? that are looking to either go into the NFL or going to other 
professional football leagues like the European or the CFL? Everything you do, everything you do, um, everything you go, go full speed, do your job, um, trust yourself. Everything you go, I don't care if it's uh, French championship, I don't care if it's a Brazilian championship, if it's in the ALF or in NFL or ECFL, everything you do, do it full speed. What advice would you have those future players out there looking to play in the European League? Um, try to to um, to 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 to, to do a lot of camp because in um, in European on every country before the season, everybody do some camp. So try to 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 go on that camp and show what you can do. Uh, don't be scared to to contact some coaching. Uh, don't be scared to contact some old player. Uh, I know a lot of players text me to know how they can do um, to play uh, for Paris Musketeer. So and we we're gonna do a camp in two weeks. So yeah, um, try to 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 uh, go to some camp uh, to show out for some workout. And I hope uh, I hope they 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 gonna get uh, picked by 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 any team. What advice would you give those players like yourself that are transitioning into that retirement phase of their career? Um, I got some friends which who are uh, I was playing uh, back in the day who are retired, and they all do something on the side. So I think that's that's a good thing. I don't want to sit down just because football takes so much time on our life that when you stop playing, it, it's hard sometimes to to to. Uh, to 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 just sit at the house. So I still wanna, like I say, uh, wanna work on the football, uh, on the football uh, world. That's great advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Um, you can find me on Instagram uh, at MC Bomb, um, on Facebook at Dumas Mamadou. So yeah. Thank you again for your interview, and best of luck in your future as you begin this new journey in your career. Thank you. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again for your interview and best of luck in your future. Thank you. Too. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.